Last thing I kind of wanted to ask and just kind of get your thoughts on and kind of see where you're at with this is obviously like we go back a year ago, Twitch was the platform, right? Like there was really like people like Mixer was around. D live was like an up and coming thing, but quickly, I think has died out as quickly as it showed up. You know, Facebook live was kind of a joke. YouTube live was like, eh, you know, but, but, uh, in recent months, this past month, I'd say, you know, with Ninja switching with Mixer kind of, stepping up their game and they kind of do it every summer. I feel where they kind of try to grab and contract more, more bigger streamers and content creators. Um, has that affected, you know, I know now you're kind of splitting your time a bit between Twitch and mixer and, and where are you kind of at with all of that? And what are your thoughts on, on it? Is it something that you think will stick permanently or, or what? Cause I've been talking and just kind of feeling people out of where they're at with it. And I, I get all across the board answers. So, so where are you kind of at with it? Yeah, I think I, I oh, mean, it's such a like complicated question because there's just so many things that like come into it. I think like competition is good in general, like competition sure. breeds excellence, right? Like if you think of, you know, you have a Target, Walmart, Amazon, they're all pushing each other to get better. Like, yeah, they might be knocking out these little dogs like a D live, but like they are mutually growing one another. And so I'd love to see more competition just to even hold uh, Twitch accountable. And I think that you've seen that in now. So they just rolled out channel points. They're like, I feel like almost every other day, they're rolling out a new like uh, quality of life update, yeah. whether it's for moderation tools or, or so on and so forth. And I think before they didn't have to do that because they had no competition. They could yeah. do whatever Where are they, they going to go? You know? Um, yeah. And so I think you'll see more of that naturally happen over time as they'll try and level the playing field between Mixer or, you know, whomever else may come up next. And um, you even see them buying out like a K30 to get out, to come over to Twitch. I think when I saw that, that actually made me a little sad. I'm sure he had a huge payday and I'm sure he'll make more as a content creator, but it ruins the competition aspect of, you know, he's pulling 20,000 viewers on YouTube. Now he's pulling 20,000 more on Twitch. Um, and I think, you know, Amazon slash Twitch decided to break up the checkbook and, and start paying some people to come over. And so um, it's interesting to see that specifically. I think from my perspective, and it's going to be absolutely different for everyone, um, you know, it's hard because I put in like a year of time on Twitch, 4,000 followers on Twitch. There's my my flex moment of the day, um, you know, and, and kept a healthy amount of subs. But like it, um, at the end of the day, like I wasn't there at, you know, year one on Twitch, you see a, um, uh, a ninja, a lupo, you know, they've been seven, eight, nine years on the platform. They've grown with it as a natural byproduct. They may have blown up with the rise of Fortnite, um, but you see a lot of these guys that have streamed from that platform on day one really grow with the platform. And a lot of podcasts that you t listen to or, or uh, you know, articles on different social media platforms if you're with like a twitter instagram year one you're going to grow if you put out consistent content and have a mediocre following you're just going to grow at that platform right. and i see a i see a similar trend available on mixer for people looking to do that if you're really going to grind it out content creation is going to be a grind streaming is going to be a grind whether you're on twitcher or twitch or on mixer they're both going to be um a grind and i think if my goal personally is to reach as many people as possible with the name of jesus christ i'm gonna see more success on mixer in my in my opinion um at this point in time you know that could change and mixer could sink they could sell twitch could buy them out you know you have no idea what, what could happen um, yeah. but i think that's like just from a discoverability algorithm standpoint um and you know there's different things that like have have juiced me to where i'm at in my my brief moment on mixer but like um it's i think uh uh that's like kind of the baseline of it i do think there's some nice quality of life things that they have going for them that probably won't be unique to them in the near future right. but the fact that there's just like less competition and less like quality competition frankly on mixer at the moment i think it's um a unique like value proposition and um you know, those people that went to Mixer even three or four months ago are just like high fiving themselves because they were able to scoop with that rise of, of Ninja moving over. And there's a natural trickle down effect. But yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I'm laughing at that chat. Well, I, <laughs> I don't know if you've well, been ignoring you it, but <laughs> yeah, I haven't been reading it. It's fine. It's, well, it's, it's nothing important. But there's this YouTube video I watched, okay, and it talked about the fact that, yeah, sometimes the biggest influencers on certain platforms are those who hit the curve going up. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
for sure. and timing. I mean, mind you, they're also good in the fact that one, they they put their audience or their communities on a pedestal. They weren't looking at the community, put them on a pedestal. They were gracious in giving back, whether it's content or tips or hints. I don't like anything else, like you know, like gifts or anything, you know. But they they and those kind of things really play out. But the biggest thing that got me was timing. So I think you're, you got a very good point there. Even though Ninja pulled people over the mixer, and like I said earlier, that maybe there's more more um, less streamers per viewer, so you have a much better audience or bigger audience on Mixer. Hit the curve at the right time makes a big difference. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I've been on the platform now. This is now officially like going on three years. Um, you know, and and like I said, I've kind of seen every summer Mixer really make an ambitious type of move with with their platform and trying to get it more to to the Twitch level. Um, and every year I'm I'm very like go, you know, especially if it's people I don't know. I'm like yeah, yeah, go like. Which is super oversaturated. Like, and and if we have another platform that can alleviate that or balance it out a bit, you know, to make people more discoverable, like go for it. It's like a pimple that needs to get popped at this point. Um, mm-hmm. but I've been uh, what I've kind of been telling people and kind of sharing, you know, in in my streams, what I've been telling people is not because it's the the TwitchCon that I, we're getting to go to, and I think this for Twitch, they're in a do or die type of scenario now and moment where I think TwitchCon could be a really cool opportunity where they can roll out a lot of really big stuff in previous years it was literally the affiliate program and then bits and then you know like things like that which were quality of life that i think helped the platform but you know i think now especially it's it's back to like when apex and fortnite you know when apex came out everyone was talking about that and you know it's not that um twitch needs to come up with original ideas they just have to implement those things that people like on the other platform and do it really well you know and do it on a professional level because like reboot you know respawns were the big thing about apex oh you know you don't just die and then you're out of the game you know you can come back and there's that that you know you keep your teammates in because of that even if they're random is because they might revive you and fortnite literally just took that and branded it as reboot vans and they're here and now literally do you, nobody i ask everyone all the time what is apex's respawn system called nobody there's not a, like a real name for it it's like oh the reboot vans you know because fortnite branded that so much better um, and you know, I, I'm, I want, like you said, I want good competition to be there. I want Mixer to succeed. I made that video as like a joke yesterday. Um, mm-hmm. you know, and then I'm going to share my, my actual thoughts on it later today as well. But, but I want Mixer to do well. And I want the people who feel called there to do well on that platform, you know, especially the Christians. So, yeah. So that's why, you know, I, I like I said, I've been asking people just to kind of feel them out see where they're at. Um, so yeah, so you're, you're kind of saying you think you're leaning more towards that or at least investing, you know. There's only so much time in a day. There's only, you know, it's yeah. the one resource. Time is the one resource we can never get back. Um, and yeah. so you're you're trying to figure that out between spending time with, you know, being a husband, you know, mm-hmm. having some type of social life, but then also, you know, now you have to split your streaming and content time with the two. And if you had to, you, you're saying you're leaning more towards Mixer still at this point, right? If, I, if I'm hearing yeah, right. Probably if I'm being honest with myself. Um, but, you know, then there's like the reality of, okay, I'm going to, the, the short-term reality of I'm going to TwitchCon in like, a, you know, a few short weeks. Um, what does that mean? You know, how do I commit my time one way or another? Uh, I, I don't necessarily know what that's going to be yet. I still need to frankly think about it and pray about, okay, what am I going to do? Um, but I do see real value in um, what I've seen on Mixer so far. And it, it's hard to, you know, because you put so much time and work into something, it's hard to set it aside and, and move away from it. But right. um, is that, is it better now before I'm a Twitch partner? And, you know, I don't know, you know, it's hard to say like, or before you have, or is Twitch partner three years away? You know, you have no idea what right. that could potentially be. Um, I do think there's certainly, there's very real elements of um, why people moved to Mixer. And I could probably do a straight roast for like, you know, 10 minutes on like people moving for the wrong reasons or whatever that may be. Yeah. Um, I won't necessarily go on that today. Maybe I can feel, fuel your next meme video for you but like <laughs> there you, um, you you hit on a lot of them of like um yeah i mean, i don't know i mean bad content is bad content at the end of the day it's still gonna be a grind you're still gonna have to put in the work you're right. still gonna have to do all the the right foundational exercises you're still gonna have to eat right and exercise right like that's right. how you lose weight there's still like foundational principles to uh, streaming on content creation that you have to hit it's not gonna be a instant success um, I just think it has some nicer things going for it. it. Yeah. Yeah. And the reason why you can't use Restream and just stream on both is because you have to, 
I thought it, you couldn't do it. I thought the rule as an affiliate on Twitch was you could not stream the same day on a different platform. But come to find out, I you know, said that, and then some people were like, no, it's you can stream on the same day. You can't have the same stream going at the same time. It can't be the same content. So like, it can't, I can't you know, broadcast this show on both platforms. I could do this, and then I could turn on Mixer and go you know, play Destiny or something. But you can't do the same thing um, on both platforms. I mean, like you technically can, but if you get caught, whatever, they can take your affiliate or whatever. Um, and Mixer doesn't really have that yet, right? I think they're probably working on Not some yet. type of it's affiliate coming. program. It's in like a month or two. Yeah. Yeah, give that up and just go after people and use Patreon. That's true. That that's a legitimate strategy. You could try that and do that. Yeah. But true. Thank you for sharing on that. Um, you know, yeah, definitely, no definitely love being able to hear how God's using you and moving and. You know, like I said, I jokingly made that video, but I'm like, hey, if if we can reach more people that way, we need Christians on those platforms just as much as we need them on every other platform, you know, and as okay. disgusted as, you know, last week we had Ali on and as disgusting as TikTok is, I still can't bring myself to make it make an actual account. But, hey, we need Christians on there, too. You know, like and if Ali could be that influence, why not? <laughs> yeah.